Right, um, we're here at Chelmsford for Dorking Wanderers against Chelmsford. Mark, how are you? How was your trip up here? Yeah, easy trip. Stopped off on the way. Uh, one of those, the old Dartford, you can never judge it, mm. can you? So it was a bit early. But yeah, all good, mate. All good. And how is, obviously, I know you spoke to Chris yesterday, but how is everything looking in and around the squad and, and personnel-wise ahead of today's <laughs> game here? Well, uh, uh, mi missing from last uh, the last lineup, uh, Jason. Jason Pryor, Rob Milson and Nala all missing, mm -hmm. um, which we knew. Um, it's made it a very challenging week. Um, Seb Bauman also um, is ill. Um, so, yeah, look, the challenges really annoyingly are still there, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, Josh Brookins back, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we've got a great side, I'll mm -hmm. say that. Obviously, you just, as a manager and a set of fans, you want to just try and put out the same 11 or 13, 14 every week, don't you? And um, uh, we, we've obviously been prevented from doing that from the first ball being kicked. But you know what? We've just got to hang in there, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. hang in there in the table. Um, I think everybody knows, you know, when we when we get some sort of consistency with the players, mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll be decent. Um, and obviously we've shown flashes of brilliance, uh, but we want to just build some more continuity into the team we can pick. Very frustrating for a manager. Yeah. Very frustrating. Um, so most of my week spent finding out who's who can play in the next game. So, yeah. but we are working hard. At me, John Bynes, Chris, all of us working really hard. Um, yeah, I was going to sort of speak to you about that in terms of the, the personnel. How's your week been in terms of bringing players in and stuff? Because I know obviously when we spoke on Tuesday after the Mason game, there was a sort of sudden realization that we didn't really have a midfield ahead of today. So you kind of sort of stopped that slide by bringing in a couple of new players this week on loans. Yeah, well, first of all, uh, Charlie's back, Charlie Carter, mm -hmm. um, and he's back in very difficult circumstances for him. So, um, you know, I um, I don't have any expectations on Charlie, really, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, um, except the fact that he's he's out there. Yeah. Uh, I don't think many players would be on a football pitch in Charlie's position. Mm -hmm. He recognises where we are. Um yeah, we had no midfield, did we? Niall got injured. Mm. It was like, right, Niall mm. Morrow, Pye Bush, Josh Taylor, Charlie Absent. Yeah. Pick that one up. So, yeah, look, we've bought in, uh, done a great job. Uh, John Bynes, Chief Exec, Tris, me, um, Morgan Williams from mm. Wimbledon. Super talent. Yeah. Doesn't like, uh, like Will. Um, doesn't know anybody. Mm -hmm. Doesn't know anyone's name. Apart from, I'm sure, the ex-Wimbledon boys that he used to watch <laughs> when he was a kid. Yeah. Morgan's really talented. I mean, um, he's, he's done a bit of a brave move, really, because he's near it. Mm. He's not like a kid there. He's yeah. he's on benches and he's, he's played. You know, he got man of the match at Stamford Bridge last year against mm. Chelsea. And, um, so he's a proper player yeah. and he's been brave. I don't think many clubs could attract players like that. I think they come here because... They trust the environment, the management. Yeah. Uh, they like what the club does, the way we play football. And then uh, Will is um, on the wing. Is yeah. that's a you know he's 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 a really really good player. I mean, <clears throat> you know, kind of Nicky Wheeler esque. Mm -hmm. But um, he's he's only 27. Yeah. Um, play three last three seasons in the league too, mm -hmm. and. Um, this is the lowest level he's ever played. He mm -hmm. hasn't played for four or five weeks. Uh -huh. um, and just like Morgan, the pair of them are going to have to train. And yeah. this Saturday-Tuesday game is not ideal because sure. we won't be training as much. Yeah. But yeah, like Will's a massively, really important addition to us, I yeah. think. Um, when we look at that that last third quality mm -hmm. you've got mm -hmm. to have. We've seen Jimmy on the right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Probably would get a player of the season at the moment. 16 games in, him... Tony Craig, maybe, you know, mm -hmm. like, um, we need that all over the front. Not yeah. saying the boys on the left have done anything wrong, but, yeah. you know, if we look at where the goals are coming from, the assists, we need we need more. Yeah. And Will is very good. So I think, listen, it's a rebuilding job again. Yeah, yeah. A lot of new boys in the building. Yeah. Are um, they both short term loans, those two? They're both till Jan. Till January, yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, we'll see about that. Yeah. Um, we'll see about that. I mean, but I'm just privileged that people want to play for us. Not many boys like that would come into the Conference South, no, but they're doing absolutely. it to play for us and the fans and supporters. So, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, the other thing I was going to say, obviously November now, only three, only three months into the season, really, and and I know you just said to the guy there from Chelmsford, obviously you've been doing this a long time, but do you feel that you're learning all the time in terms of this season being more reactive to those things? And you know, look at Rob Milson, Josh Brookin, um, even Theo, um, the two that are in now, Jack Young as well. They're all players that you didn't envisage being Wanderers players at the start of the season, weren't they? That's and a brilliant point. Yeah, brilliant point. And bring them in. Brilliant point. I think we know. The, the only reason we got relegated was because we didn't, we trusted, I guess, information coming out of the physio room. Sure. We didn't respond quick enough. Mm -hmm. We probably looked at the table and thought there's three or four points between 10 teams, never panicked, yeah. never got the players back and yeah. caught a cold. And, yeah. and obviously this year, we're not prepared to catch a cold. Yeah. Playoffs is a minimum requirement expectation yeah. for now we've just got to stay in there yeah. hang in there because I think we all know if you look at where this team is going it's yeah. going to be one hell of a side yeah um, and, and it already has proven to be as well isn't it with games and, and matches sort of relentlessly with that Saturday Tuesday and a, mm. and a Saturday Monday as well at some point this month as well it's just it's a busy period isn't what it? I like about that is whilst it's a challenge for us it's also a challenge for others yeah. and they might not necessarily have the squads that we've got yeah um, and this is where these people always say, don't, they? Oh, no, don't worry about a league table till yeah. Christmas. Yeah. And it's because obviously it's like, well, teams that are having a great run, they, they pick up a few injuries and they yeah. drop off. And, yeah. you know, I'd like to think, I mean, we've only lost one in eight yeah. and we've done it with mix and match teams mm -hmm. week in, week out with no yeah. midfield. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of credit there for that resilience. Start of the season, uh, I'm going to credit, credit Chelmsford, um, for their pitch today is yeah. start the season everyone always goes oh where's Chelmsford for the way <laughs> last time we was here was the last game yeah. called off mm -hmm. um, not called off it was a uh, we won one nil and the league got called off two days later for mm -hmm. covid yeah. and that's when we went five points clear that monday night yeah. and it was uh, in jan and it was freezing <laughs> and the toilet didn't work <laughs> And uh, that is what everyone thinks about Chelmsford. But they listen, they've got new owners, Spencer, yep. nice guy. Mm -hmm. um, they're making a big effort. The toilet, believe it or not, you couldn't make it up. It's broken again today. <laughs> you could not make it up. Well, the last time I was here, all I remember was getting stressed with the toilet. And it, I got here <laughs> and it's still flooded. <laughs> so, um, but we take it 1 0, but we don't want the season to be cancelled, though. Obviously, no, no, today. exactly that, mate. But listen, uh, we've got a good record here. Yeah. Uh, a couple of good wins down here. Yeah. We're a good side. Yeah. We're going to have to be a good side. They're actually, they're actually probably better this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Robbie's sa saying he's, he's got a bit more resources than he, he normally has a fiver, and I love a manager that goes, yeah, we've got a bit more this year. Yeah. Fucking brilliant, because not yeah. many do that. Yeah. Um, so they've, uh, they're a good side. They, they've not lost many games themselves. Mm -hmm. It's a tight league. Yeah. Let's see how we get on with it. Do you know what I mean? Let's hope there's some magic today. Yeah. I think young Theo and Alfie will be very dangerous on yeah. this pitch. Yeah. Very dangerous. Yeah. Okay, thanks as always, Cheers, Mark, mate. and we'll catch you after.